Hi, welcome to SFG Cards and Craft. Today I'd like to show you how I did this card. Um, I've actually viewed a lot of uh, cards being made on YouTube and never seen one that's uh, for a We Have Move type card. So this is what I'm actually about today. Uh, this is actually the inside showing there. Now, these are the animals that I'm using. Then you'll notice that the cows have been changed slightly from the original stamps. I've put a white belly on one and stars on the heads of the other two. Um, on the heads and the animals, all the animals I've actually changed the eyes. Originally the stamp set has the eyes that look like a half moon shape. I've made them round and I've put black pupils inside. I didn't put eyelashes on these ones but I sometimes do if they're a girl, which cows obviously are. The sheep and the pig could be anything but uh, anyway not to worry. Um, now this fence is actually a lawn fawn uh, picket fence border die. Sorry, I'm running a bit slow here. Uh, and I actually did that with the walnut stain on the um, uh, just blocking it in there. Uh, now, this is the animals I'm going to be painting uh, the black soot uh, is the first colour for the cow, hickory smoke, and worn lipstick for the nose and udder. Uh, now, I on one of the first card that I did, I actually did paint the horns and I did those with rusty hinge, but on this card I'm actually removing the horns, I'm not actually putting the horns on, I'm just cutting straight through. You'll notice that I've actually put a line on that horn that goes straight through there, and I, that's where my cut line will be, because I'm cutting it right up against the line. Uh, so the cows are painted with the black soot mainly, and then the white's actually shaded with the hickory smoke. The worn lipstick, as I said, is for the nose and the udder. I keep the eye white, as white as I can. Um, Actually, what I might do is actually just put some music on and just let you let you watch. I'll just explain first what I'm actually using for the colours. The sheep is actually done, uh, black soot is actually for its face, ears and feet. And the body is just done with like a side load of hickory smoke. The pig, the, the saddle, it's, it's a saddleback pig. I've made it into a saddleback. That's why it's got the line across his back. Uh, that will be black soot. For the band only and tattered roses for the main part of the body and worn lipstick is for the nose which i've already painted that in and i also halfway through painting the pig i actually also put uh, the inside of the ears i pen those in with the uh, multi liner um, but you'll see that as it happens so we'll put some music on and uh, we'll sit back and just watch
okay we're back again um, okay now this is actually doing the grass so um, I'm, I'm using my hand cut mask for the grass uh, I, at the time when I cut these I didn't actually have uh, any uh, border dies which I do have them now but uh, I still haven't made up a stencil for that so I'm just using the hand cut one that I've got here uh, this is actually using I think it's peeled paint that I'm using in the bottom uh, so I could probably have it written down here somewhere yeah, peeled paint, and then I stamp it later on with Lawn Fawn's Noble Fur out across the fence line. And I do two cards, uh, two panels, I should say, the same to a point. Okay, th I've already done the second card there with the grass. Now I'm doing the sky. Uh, this is using a stencil that I've actually cut using the uh, Avriel Pierced Cloud Border Dies. Uh, I've actually never actually made uh, cutouts to stick on. I've only ever used the border die to actually make the stencil and I, f I like that. I, I, th I think it looks nice like that. I, th one of these days I will have to use it for its original intended purpose but I have never used it yet except for making the stencil. In fact I've actually taught a few classes over the uh, last few months and uh, the first class that I taught had a background done similar to this and the ladies loved it so I each gave each of them a set of stencils because I'd actually cut 12 and had only six students so I um, uh, gave them each a set so I I've, I've, uh, might have to make a few more if I get, actually get more than half a dozen students back again so but anyway um, the, the clouds uh, I think they look quite good like that uh, now this is the fence that I was actually showing before and I've actually just at the moment just trimming off the points off the fence um, as I've mentioned in probably other of my videos, I'm actually uh, from a dairy farm originally in New Zealand and um, the farm that I grew up on we had um, the fences were actually made out of these half round posts which were uh, uh, originally it would have been a, a tree which would have been probably about five inches in diameter, maybe six whatever, and sliced down the middle so you get this half round. So this is what I'm showing here and of course the uh, flat side would be the side that you put your nail or staple your fences uh, fence wires onto and this, this is what I'm actually sort of showing here today um, this is just shading the fence there I only show a little bit of it and that's in ground espresso and here I am just separating the picket fence just to make it posts and just showing you there briefly sorry it's off screen and I've done half of this before I actually started showing it but you get the idea I'm sure so it's just basically making them into posts and I only needed eight of them that's why I've only cut eight because there's four for each half of the card okay now I'm just using the Ranger multi mat medium multi medium mat sorry to glue this down I find that that's the best glue I've, I've stopped using all the other wet glues that I've actually been using in the past and I find that this is the best one uh, I've made a lot of cards and still only using the same first bottle um, so it does go a long way you don't really need much just a few dots I've actually probably putting too much on these fence posts because it does tend to ooze out but because it is the multimedia mat when it dries it dries matte clear and you can't see it and also it's not sticky like a lot of the other wet glues that I've never struck another one that's not sticky after it's dried it's, it, uh, but this one it uh, dries completely non-sticky and uh, to the matte so you can't actually see there's no shine left around Whereas if you actually used one of the other glues where it's remained sticky, you'd actually touch it and you'd feel the stickiness around it wherever you've put it. But anyway, now what I'm doing here with the multi-liner, I think that's a number 0.3, just putting the, as I said, these are half round posts, so I'm just putting the round half at the back there. And then that'll be painted in uh, later on with the ground espresso. I'll do the same with both, as you can see the second card there with the posts on it as well. So there's no point in showing this on both cards because I'm or both sorry not both cards both panels because it's just duplicated so far up to this point and then I just brush in that half round part uh, here I'm just stretching the wires across now on the farm where I grew up of course we never had saggy wires like that but uh, it, it's just yeah, this is just a card. I, I like to have, I, I did that on purpose, so I wasn't trying to do a straight liner. If I was trying to do a straight liner, I would have used a ruler, but I think it looks more natural if it's actually uh, bowed a little bit like that. So, uh, uh, and I've just made a 
bit of an error there. I've sort of gone a little bit too low on the post, made the gap a bit wide. And I think I'll rub out the next one as well. Yes, decided that that one was a little bit crooked too. And this is the multi-liner point three. I'm actually just coming in here just to put the fence wire in with the, that make it more permanent with the multi-liner. And that little line that I'm putting on the post would actually be just the staple that goes across the wire. Just here and there, I actually put that on there, see there, and again there, and another wire. I put three wires only on. Not much good for sheep, but it's okay for cows. Um, okay, and this is actually putting the barbed wire on. This is actually the second card. Now, I've already done the first card, so I'm putting the barbed wire on. Um, on dairy farms, the um, top wire would be barbed wire. On a sheep farm, it would probably be one down a little bit further as the sheep is actually stands a lot shorter than a cow. And of course, sheep farms, you'd have probably seven or eight wires on a farm for sheep, but doesn't matter. I mean, this is only for a card, but in reality, that's the way it would be. Um, okay, now I'll just go through and just rub out all the uh, pencil lines there. And those two panels are almost, the first one's almost done. Just got to put some uh, noble fir on now. I go to keep calling it Douglas fir. That's another type of tree. Um, okay, now you can see there I've already fussy cut all the animals out. I don't have the die set for these yet, but I like the fussy cut. Not, I don't like fussy cutting, but I like the result of fussy cutting. I like them done without lines. I recently actually got the um, Ranger Bird Crazy stamps and die set, and um, that one there cuts right up against. There's no white border left. If you can get it to line up properly, there is no white border, which uh, it is a bit difficult to do, but uh, it does cut right on the uh, inside of the uh, line, or sorry, the outside of the uh, black line. Um, this is actually just looking for uh, the uh, noble fur in there I found. That's the, that's the box that I keep my lawn fawn stamps inks, sorry, inks in. Um, and a couple of hero whites that I've got. And as you see, the, the hero whites uh, white one. And I think I've got a couple of the uh, other ones in there. And um, the most common ones that I use. Okay, noble fur. Uh, this is what I actually use uh, for the, doing the grass on the uh, thing and I've actually taken the two pieces of grass out of the um, uh, that whimsy stamp set that's there, the uh, sketched elephants. I've just taken the two pieces of grass out of it. There's two different types. One's got little long bits in it and the other one's shorter. And now uh, just stamping those along. Okay, maybe we'll have a bit more music now. There's the uh, the panel. I've already stuck the animals down, um, and oh, and now I'm actually putting on the uh, the lettering. The uh, letters that I'm using is uh, from a stamp set by Lawn Fawn called I think it's called Harold's ABCs. I didn't show it there. Sorry, I think it's called Harold's ABC. Maybe I do bring it back again. Because I thought I did. Yes, there it is. Harold's ABC by Lawn Fawn. It's quite a good set. Um, it's quite large, but there there we go. Uh, we have moved to greener pastures. I actually put the word greener in in the Noble Fur Lawn Fawn ink. Um, so those are the two panels. So um, I'll just stick those together off screen and um, show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, there's the outside. Now the little sign that I've got there says two greener pastures and an arrow pointing. Okay, and there's the other one inside the card. And you'll notice to the left there, I've actually put a, a panel in there where you can actually 
assuming this was going to be used as a card to write in a new address and everything in there. Um, and that one there says, Welcome to Greener Pastures, on that little sign there. Okay, well if you like this, um, please subscribe and uh, hit the like box. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.